So let's take a look at how to fix a broken T-spline. So as usual, I, these models, I get them from the Fusion 360 forum because there's no better source for broken stuff than uh, what some beginners do in Fusion 360. And it takes a while to load this model, which is a little odd, it's not big. All right, so here we got the T-spline and it, it already warns us. And uh, there are plenty of creases here on this T-spline. And by the way, creasing a T-spline is bad technique. It creates terrible surfaces. I'm not gonna go into the math or the background of that, but it really creates terrible surfaces. So actually these, these uh, creases should be replaced with proper edge loops, which also isn't easy to do in Fusion 360. It just doesn't have the tools for that. But anyway, so, what the user complains about, and that can be seen with the, um, I think the curvature map analysis is on here. Correct, if we turn this off, it looks, well, it still doesn't look great. But we can see these distortions here of the surface. And um, let me turn this back on if, uh, oops, if, um, if I just select this and uncrease it, We can see that looks horribly distorted. We have this geometry, or what looks like geometry, and uh, even if I switch this, I think I've tried this before, if I switch this in box mode, this is gone, and it looks to me that that is a problem with the tangent handles uh, that T-splines have, that a sub-D model, for example, does not have, and you don't usually have access to those. There's one mode, and I, I never use this, where you can modify T-spline tangent handles at the edge outer perimeter here of a model, but not on the inside. So the question is, of course, what do we do about this now? So there's a mode in Fusion 360, or there are some utilities that can help you do this. And you just basically I select it and see if a repair body does what I wanted to do. So I'm just going to click on auto repair. And there you go. You might want to try to change the well tolerance, but I've tried this already and that doesn't do anything. It really doesn't do anything. So then the next thing is make uniform. And that also, it makes it a little better, right? But it's so contorted that this won't work either. And it still looks like there are some edges, even though I increased it already, it still looks like there are some edges that are still are that are still creased. So let me just select this again. And I'm switching the selection mode here from select from to select through, which I didn't have on. So when you select it with select through, it selects really everything. And uncrease. And there are 12 more edges that it tells me that are creased. And if we look at this, that looks really strange. Those edges are now misaligned, um, even though there shouldn't be. And there still seems to be a crease here. So what I usually, in, and we've used all these tools up here, so that's about all you can do. Well, it isn't, but we'll get to that. So what I usually recommend is to take this, uh, you know, this is a T-spline body, and right-click on it and export as export as a, uh, as a .obj file. So that exports that in a quad mesh format. Um, quad is what you see here. These are triangles, and it's really not great to model a T-spline with triangles. There it almost looks like it isn't, um, but it looks pretty contorted there as well. So anyway, so let's try to do this. Just And I've done this before. I've already exported it. And uh, we're going to turn off the timeline and insert our mesh. And here it is. And there's our mesh. And however you export it, you always have to rotate it when you import it. Um, kind of weird. So that's our mesh. And then we can uh, just simply reconvert it into a T-spline or not. 
So this has like 32 polygons and four triangles and uh, conversion has been aborted, too many triangles. So again, Fusion 360 treats its user like beginners, you know, uh, trying to prevent mistakes and in the wake of that also is trying to prevent more experienced users to actually get their work done. So in this case, that's a roadblock. So we have to go back to our original approach. I could, of course, open this OBJ in Blender and fix this in Blender, make complete quads out of this, and then um, re-import it. But then it, this wouldn't be a Fusion 360 tu tutorial, so I'm going to not do that. So here we're back in our model. And for modeling, I usually recommend doing all of that. Well, not all of that, but at least 50% of that in box mode. So I'm right click here and select. Actually, no. I'm going to do that here because I actually don't want to um, move polygons or edges or vertices. I actually want to delete them. So this is box mode. And uh, the, the edge flow doesn't look exactly smooth. So that, that can be uh, changed a little bit later. So the first thing that I want to change is these weird edges. So if I, and they, they aren't visible here, but we know that there was a problem with that face here. So I'm actually, I'm going to switch back to a uh, smooth mode because there we can see that it still looks pretty contorted. So I'm simply just going to recreate this face. Okay, so it still gives me a darker edge here and it looks like it still says this is uh, creased, so I have to delete this as well. And, nope, not edit form. I want to create a face. Okay, and now it complains that there is a still a crease left. So we delete this as well. And you basically have to go face by face to uh, maintain that same geometry that you had before. Okay, now it complains about this face. Okay, about this edge. Let's delete this face. And obviously this method of fixing it I'm going to delete both of them. Let's see if that helps us further along. So obviously in bigger models with more complex geometry, oh goodness, now we have an edge here that uh, seems to be contorted. So let's delete this and uh, create faces there. Okay, so now our model looks, well, I wouldn't say good, but it looks better. So that tree spline is fixed in terms of, of these uh, weird artifacts and that uh, uh, tree spline tangent handle weirdness. But of course, there's a still, there are still a few triangles in here, like those here. So I'm just going to delete this edge loop here and get rid of that triangle. What do we do about this triangle? I'm just going to insert a point here, make a quad out of that, and split those in half. And for whatever reason, it doesn't let me do that right now. So I'm going to change into box mode, where that usually works. Yep. All right, and now this is also a quad, All right? In general, when, when you create T-spline and your, uh, your edges aren't smooth, And that usually doesn't create very great surfaces 
when it's converted into a DRAP or in essence into a NURB surface so make sure that your edge flow is somewhat smooth oh come on fusion And of course, yes, I'm changing geometry and it's not the original geometry anymore. Aha, so this is also a quad, not a triangle. So let's move these edges in a little so that they are all in line here. Let me move that up here a little. So let's see what this does now. Alrighty, battery smooth for the most part. So that's how you can fix some of the T-spline problems that you might come across when you started modeling T-splines and the model doesn't really respond to you anymore.